you want to sell your current investment property to purchase another investment property, make sure that you set it up as a 1031 exchange to avoid paying capital gains. This is Danny Antello, and this is my weekly DN Vice. Your weekly so we recently had a client sell her rental property in order to purchase an apartment that she would also be using as a rental property. First and foremost, talk to your CPA. You'll have to fill out a form 8824 to report each exchange of business or investment property for property of a like kind. There are rules and times that you have to respect in order to gain the benefits of this exchange. The first thing is always hiring a professional realtor to sell your current property for top dollar. After closing, the buyer will transfer the purchase money to your qualified intermediary to be held at escrow. Here in Houston, we would go through a title company. They will hold that money for you until you close on your next property. You may not receive the money in your personal account for any reason whatsoever, or else you won't be able to apply the 1031 exchange and you will be taxed. Once you close on your current property, you have 45 days to identify your next investment property to purchase of at least equal value. And finally, you must transfer the new purchase money through your qualified intermediary to the new seller and close within the next 180 days. It's not complicated, but it's important to talk to the right people in order to avoid paying any capital gains. Are you ready to upgrade your investment property through a 1031 exchange? Our team will point you in the right direction and will connect you with the right people to make it happen. This is Nanny Antello and stay tuned for more weekly advices. Your weekly